freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it, hopefully you are all okay. Um, you join me at 6 a.m. in the morning and uh, we are in Chippenham, but we do need to stop and get fuel because we are seriously, seriously low. <laughs> um, I tried getting fuel at a BP garage on the A419, but they were shut and um, all the fuel pumps were coned off. So we've had to come all the way to Chippenham on the fuel, on the fuel light and we are seriously seriously low and i'm hoping the garage is open it's 6 a.m they should be open they've, <laughs> they've got to be open if they're not i'm not sure what we're going to do we can make that um so yeah i think <laughs> fingers crossed they're open there's a morrison's here as well um so maybe get some from morrison's if need be but bp <laughs> bp is the uh optional choice like we are literally nearly off the chart on the fuel gauge um i'm sure we'd be okay for another 10 miles if that but that'd be pushing it <laughs> i don't really like stopping at this garage because it's a bit awkward to get back out of um yeah it's open okay that's good they are open so yeah i don't normally like using this one just for that reason alone just it's a bit difficult to get out but never mind Let's go, uh, let's go top up with some fuel. Swing it in. Oh, hang on. There's no pump on that side, so we need this one. For a second then, I don't think they had any because it was coned off there as well. There we go. Pump 14. Right, no time to lose. Got to get a crack on because we got to be... Uh, um, delivery point for half past so we ain't got long we're only how far away we're only two miles away from our delivery point um we'll be there at 10 past six if we left now but obviously we need to get fuel we've got to be there for half past six so we've got 10 15 minutes to spare so that's what we're going to use filling up fuel right see you in a bit right that's the fuel card handed in so now we can uh top up with some fuel <sighs> truck needs a wash Standard. Lovely. I reckon we're going to put like 450, nah, yeah, for over 400 litres, I reckon. I've said before, but I'll say it again. Little trick. Get your blue cap and whack it in there again, got to hold it. <laughs> so we are loaded from Friday. Uh, we went to Tilbury Docks. We got loaded with um, plywood, basically. Um, so I think, uh, one, two, three, I think there's like four rows back and then there's like four per row. So 16, I think there was 17 actually in there, there was an odd one. So um, yeah, we've got 17 packs of plywood to, to be tipped off here. We're going to Maya Timber. Once we're tipped, I'm not entirely sure where we're going. We'll obviously send the boss a message to say that we're being tipped, find out where we're going. Um, as you guys know, I like to guess. Um, we're only in Chippenham, so we can get sent back to the yard, maybe go to Tetbury. We haven't been to Tetbury for a while, actually. Get loaded with like, bolt bags and pallets. Um, so yeah, we don't, I don't know. don't know what we're doing after that. But um, like I said, we'll send the boss a message and find out. Okay, we're 250 litres. I reckon another 200 litres. I reckon 450 or close to. This is what happens when you get to the end and they only let you have so much. They're only letting me have 400 litres, look. So it's going very slowly up to 400. Just dribbling out. I 
and then it'll shut off in a sec. You listen. There we go. <laughs> um, but we are actually pretty much full, so that'll do. Let's put you back. 400 litres it is. There we go. Four tank of fuel. Four tank of Abley as well. Lovely jubbly. Um, so, yeah, let's crack on. Right, so we've just got to go around a couple of roundabouts and then we're here. I have delivered to this place a few times. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got here early each time and they're not ready for me because they're loading their own trucks. But I've been I've been asked to get here for this time, so that's the time I'm going to get here. Um, but I do have a sneaky suspicion that they're not going to be ready for me because uh, they'll be lo loading their own trucks at this time in the morning. But we do what we're told, innit? In it, bruv. Right, so we pop down here past the old security hut. You're welcome. It's very busy down here. I think a lot of... I've parked up for the night down here as well. There's there's a lot of trucks that come down here. A lot of trucks. Thank you. Yeah, I don't... I don't think we'll get straight in. Well, we will get straight in, but I don't think we'll be uh, tipped until they've finished loading their own trucks. This road is absolutely horrendous. I've got to stop and wait for him because I want to go where he's coming out of. All these cars parked on the side. They must, surely they work somewhere around here, but there's nothing open, so it's a bit weird. Right, I want to turn right down here. Then we're turning left here, and then it's just on the right hand side. Hopefully, it'd be nice if there is no one in there. Turn left, and then it's just this one here on the right. Gates are open, are they? Yeah. Yep, so as predicted, they have trucks in here being unloaded. I've come here a couple of times and it's been the same both times. They won't unload me until these trucks are out, but hey, what do you do? You turn up when you're asked to turn up, so. We'll just try and budge over so people can get past me still. That's what we do. <laughs> right, so we're going to put our high vis on. We're going to go see someone. Might even undo, well, yeah, we will undo the curtains, get unstrapped, ready to go so they can um, unload us. I'm happy to move around with product on inside here, unstrapped because it's off the public road. So I'll, uh, I'll get the curtains and whatnot undone. What's basically on that ridge there, I don't know if you saw it coming in, what's basically on that ridge is exactly what we got, only an Arctic's load. So it's uh, like twice as much, basically, and double stacked all the way rather than single stacked. So yeah, right, anyway, I will see you in a little bit. Right, a couple of their trucks have moved now, so we've managed to get in. Um, so that's what we got on board, and that's what's going to be taking off. I think it was 17 packs, so it's one, two, three on the front. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, because there's two at the back, so yeah, 17. So yeah, that's what we got. Okay, we also just found out where we're going as well from here. Uh, we are going to a place called Surbiton, I think they call it. Surbiton. And it's off the Kingston Bypass. Uh, <laughs> I've only been there once before. Well, I, assuming it is the same place, Skyline Roofing Supplies, all I've been told is Surbiton. So I think that's how you say it. Um, 
So I've had a quick look and Skyline Roof and Supplies pops up and it's a place I've been to before. And I come off the Kingston Bypass. Um, you've got to come to almost a stop. It's quite dangerous really, uh, because you've got traffic behind you coming up to you quite fast. And then you've got cars parked either side of you and then you go down, it's, got, it's quite, quite narrow. Um, and I mean narrow, not narrow like the Tottenham one where someone said it wasn't narrow. This is narrow. <laughs> um, and then they recommended on the way out that I don't go that way, go the other way out. So the way I went out last time is actually the way I'm going to go in this time. So you sort of go on the Kingston Bypass, don't turn left, go up to the junction, then turn left, then left again, then you sort of come in the other way. It does mean that when you take the left turn to get into the place, you've got to go on the other side of the road. So hopefully there's no cars parked. But yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. It's a little bit tight there. And um, last time I went, there's a nursery there as well. So there was school pick up and drop off. Uh, there's lots of builders like just in the way. Obviously, they want to go and buy their stuff. And I'm in their way. They're in my way. Other trucks making deliveries. It was it was actually, not going to lie, a bit of a nightmare. And not really looking forward to having to go back there. But I think that's where we're going to be going. Unless we, unless there's another place in Surbiton that I haven't found yet. But um. I'm pretty sure it's going to be going to Skyline Roofing Supplies. So, yeah, we've got to, from here, we've got to go to South Surrey and get loaded with roofing tiles. That's what it is. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then we crack on to there. So, I will probably see you when we're in South Surrey. It'll be light out as well. And um, I'll confirm with you whether or not we are actually going to the place I feel like we are going to go to. So, a bit. Right, I know I said I was going to see you in South Surrey, but uh, we're still here. <laughs> um, so we're nearly done. The other side's now just been taken off, so I'm going to close that curtain. One more to come off this side. It is, what's the time? 7.29, so we've been here an hour and 10 minutes. So, yeah. ideally like to be in and out in an hour, not going to lie. But yeah, we're nearly done. Five more minutes, we'll be out of here, so happy days. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, we are now in South Cerny. It's a lot lighter out. Sorry, fan. That's literally my number one fan. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just getting loaded now. We've got to sit on the bunk whilst being loaded. Well, actually, you've got to sit on the passenger seat, but I have stuff in my footwell, so I'd rather just lay on my bunk. <sighs> Why not? So, yeah, unfortunately, we've got to have the hazards on. Hazards are very annoying. Keep going off. But, yeah, we're, uh, we're getting loaded. Hopefully, we're... Uh... And yeah, I reckon we are going to that place I said earlier. We will find out once we're strapped up and we'll get our paperwork. Right, we're loaded. We're in South Sydney. We just got loaded. Let's take this off. So, I wasn't going to say anything on social media. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to lose weight again. Um, it never works. <laughs> it never works out, but I'm trying again get rid of soft drinks so I'm only on I'm only on water and um, I'm going to try a calorie deficit diet so I'm going to be counting calories and uh, according to an app that I've got I know men are supposed to have an average of two and a half thousand calories a day but it was uh, it was recommending I had three thousand eight hundred to, to lose weight but it seems a bit weird Maybe because I am so overweight that um, I naturally lose weight just eating two and a half thousand calories, I guess. Anyway, um, I'm going to try and stick to 2,000 calories. Maybe 2,200. If I get, like, really peckish during the day or whatever and I can have a snack. So, yeah, 2,000 calories a day is what I'm going to try and get, uh, be on. And I'm not really going to make a song and dance about it. I'm not going to keep any updates or anything like that because... Um, I don't know, I feel like it just makes me more pressured to do it and then I don't want to do it. Uh, I feel like I'll be doing it. I thought posting it, like posting weight loss on social media would encourage me to do it because people would know that I'm trying to lose weight. But 
I still got negative comments online anyway, saying, oh, you know, fat, overweight, blah, blah, blah. And then, I'll be honest, it just made me think, well, what's the point? <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, but I do want to lose weight, but I want to do it for me, not for, not for anyone else. So, yeah, I'm sure you know what I mean. So, I'm just going to quietly crack on with it, basically. And if you, if you see a difference, then feel free to let me know. Anyway, we're going to crack on. We are going to the place where I thought we were going to be going to, which is Skyline Roofing in, I think it was Surbiton, I think they called it. It's just off the Kingston Bypass. So, like I said, we're going around the back way. So, as we approach it, be on our left. And um, the only thing that I'm hoping for is that it's not as busy as it was last time. And thinking about it, it that might be the case because I literally turned up first thing. I was there for like 7 a.m. So... They were just opening up, they had their own trucks in, all the builders merchants were turning up. Like I said earlier, there's a nursery like pretty much next door where I've got to park up and wait. They were all dropping off their kids. So the whole place was just ram packed because it was first thing in the morning, everyone was trying to get there. We ain't gonna get there until about quarter past 11. So it's sort of like nearly afternoon, isn't it? So I'm hoping the, the, the morning rush will be well and, over, well and truly over with. And hopefully we can just get straight in, open the curtains up and uh, get our load off basically uh again as per usual don't know what i'm doing afterwards i am actually home tonight i know i'm home tonight because i'm off to, i'm off work tomorrow i've got a uh, i've got a hospital appointment so um obviously as you guys know sometimes my eye this eye looks a bit bruised because i'm always rubbing it eyelashes are in my eye blah 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 i've told it loads of times still people ask but eyelashes go into my eye i irrit uh, i itch my eye because it's irritating causes more damage it's like an endless loop blah 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 one of the things we're trying to do to fix it is be tested for sleep apnea um so i've been tested and I, i'm showing very 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 mild mild symptoms of sleep apnea um in terms of snoring that's literally it i snore during the night so my airwaves are like slightly closing up um i don't feel tired during the day i don't feel sleepy or drowsy or, or exhausted or anything like that so I don't have sleep apnea with the side effects, I just have sleep apnea snoring at home basically. And anyway, because my airways are closing, they reckon that there's a lack of oxygen getting to my eyelid, which is then making my eyelid droop down, which is causing the eyelashes to go in. So, tomorrow I've got a hospital appointment, I've got to go, I think I'm getting like a, like a, a machine to sleep with, like an oxygen mask. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I've got to sleep with a with an oxygen tank, I think, I'm not sure. So it is a bit, I'll be honest, it's a bit, it's not scary, but it's making me think about my health, do you know what I mean? So I, I, I really want to lose weight. But why, why are people honking? I swear I just heard a honk, horn, honk. Don't know, anyway, I want to lose weight, I want to get more healthy. Let's see if we can do it this time. <laughs> so don't, 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 don't get your hopes up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But I'm hoping I can. And uh, hopefully we can get my eye sorted. The only other thing to do with my eye, uh, if, if this doesn't work, the only other thing is um, literally eye surgery. So um, they'll uh, cut a slit of my eyelid out and then stitch it back up again to lift it up. It's like a nip and tuck, but for your eyelid. <laughs> so, But apparently there's a, there's a bit of a recovery process for that. Like I'll be off work for a month or something. Because um, like vision will be blurry and all that sort of stuff. So... If that's the case, I say, I've got plenty of money saved up, so I can I can afford to take a month off, no problem. But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Anyway, let's crack on. I just thought I'd let you know. I'm up front and I'm on, I'm honest with these sort of stuff, so I thought I'd let you know. Let's crack on anyway to Skyline Refin. We're two hours away. We'll be there about quarter past eleven. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the essential new truckers handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, so... We're nearly here. The last time I come here, we took a left just here so <laughs> yeah you had to slow right down in lanes one and two just to make that turn um bit naughty because the traffic is a bit bit too fast really to be doing that uh but at the time i didn't realize there was another way in um so that's the way i went in but now hopefully we can get in perfectly fine this way 
Um, yeah, hopefully it's not too busy. I'm, I'm hoping it's not very busy anyway. But yeah, we're only uh, a mile and a half away, so let's crack on there. Hopefully we can get this off nice and quick and then crack on to wherever we're going from here. No idea yet where we're going. We'll find out soon. Okay, you just want to pull in front. Thank you very much. Wow. I um, kind of had to break a little bit hard then so I didn't hit him. Cheers for that. Then you lose all your momentum as well. All right, let's go left here. Okay, we want to go left as well after this junction. Uh, we'll wait. We will wait a sec before indicating. But yeah, we want to go left. It, there is a weight limit, but only between certain hours of the day. So we've got parked cars on the left. Looks to be a car trying to get out. <laughs> no one's letting them out. Come on, let them out. Oh, car in front did not want to stop. <laughs> I would have let him out if uh, if none of these did. It's just um, people are very impatient. Very impatient. I don't think that's a pedestrian crossing priority. Now we are taking up two lanes ever so slightly because, wow, there's no room for me and a car. Not at all. It's quite narrow down here. But that doesn't mean a car won't try and go on the pavement to get round me. So this car's gonna now try get in the left lane. Come on, mate. I love it when cars go in lane two to try and overtake everyone. They end up, <laughs> they end up at the back anyway. <laughs> Bloody lights! I was looking in my mirror then just to see if there's any cars coming because it's going into one lane. We've got sirens. Where's the sirens coming from? behind us. Got a van very close to me then. Very close. Right, the ambulance is coming down my way. Hopefully we can get off the road before we get near. Or they get near me rather. get off the road before the ambulance comes first because I'm the biggest thing in the road do you know what I mean so come on mate you first before I go any further it'd be nice to see whether the ambulance is coming down here or not oh went straight past I wanted to see if it was coming down here because if it was I would have just tucked in somewhere because it gets a bit narrow down here I think if I remember rightly shouldn't really have arctics down here I don't think but it's the case it is so down here Yeah, 
Yeah, it's not like narrow per se. It's it's not narrow at all down here. It's just more cars are parked on the side, so you've got to stop to let vehicles through and try and time it right so you keep your momentum and things like that and not meeting other vehicles on the way. Come on, mate. So I'm waiting for this van and it's gone quite slow. trying to find the gaps to park in is a bit difficult. Through this oh a lot of people have got their wheels like proper turn. It's clear on the right. Come on van, after you. Right, we're nearly here. Where that blue car's coming out of on the left is where we want to go. But we need to be on the other side of the road to make it. Where this blue car's parking up. No, that's it, you move, thank you. It was literally right where I needed to be to make the turn. Whereas last time I come from that way, and there's the nursery on the right. Okay, I think we just park up here for a second. People can get past us. There's no one in there. I might just drive straight in, you know. I'm gonna drive straight in. Yeah, I'm driving straight in so I can get off this road. Lovely. Right, we're here. Yeah, they can do both sides now, I remember. And then to get out, we literally just got to reverse out onto the road. A bit tight, but be able to make it, I expect. Right, let's get curtains undone, get the straps off, corner boards off, and get unloaded. I'll see you in a bit. Right, we are now in the process of getting it unloaded, curtains open. I thought something was coming down behind me then. So yeah, we've got uh, 24 pallets to come off. From here, just found out from here, we're going sort of back towards Swindon. I think I've got to get loaded for the boss to deliver it tomorrow. So uh, I think that'll be us, us done for the day. Just uh, head back and load up for uh, for tomorrow, basically, for the boss. But uh, I'll show you that, I'll show you what we're loading, because I don't actually know where we're going yet, as in what we're loading with. But yeah, let me, anyway, let me show you the reverse, because the re reverse is going to be a little bit difficult. So it's going to be a case of reversing that onto this road. Um, with these cars parked here, the cab is literally going to be going over that curb and calling it now. It's going to be a bit tighter, boys. Reverse back over there. And then drive on out. Right. We are... <laughs> uh, we just got to wait for someone to, uh, to watch us back. So the, this reversing manoeuvre itself, it's not like very hard. You know, I've done it before, but it is a little bit snug. Just little things like making sure your mirrors are clear will help out just that little bit extra. Right. Like I said, I've got a curb on the left, as I mentioned earlier. I think I'm probably going to end up on it. We'll try to avoid it. No, I'm definitely going to hit it. I 
I don't know, am I? I just heard someone say something. I don't think it was my... Wasn't my banks when it was someone else. We did on the left. Okay, here comes the curb. Like I said, we were going to just tap the curb to get out. We're back off the curb again now. We look good now. Ooh, the gate is very close. Oh, that was very close to the gate then. Let's stop there because I can't see the car on the left. Lovely. All right, let's put the seatbelt on. You do need to come forward. <laughs> oh, what a place for a lorry to park. Should be all right. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Cheers, mate. I reckon I can get around anyway, but go on the curb. This will, if he moves that car, I'd definitely be out. It's a, a lorry um, retrieving a car by the looks of it. So we're going to end up on the curb anyway. It's quite a tight turn without the lorry there. Lovely. Thank you all. Yes, we can uh, make our way out now because it is a little bit snug down here. What's this blue car doing? Mate, there is a pedestrian behind you. Oh, did you even look? I'm not entirely sure that car even saw the pedestrian. Never mind. <laughs> right, anyway, we're out of here. We can't get round that bus. He's moving now. Okay, that's good. I would have had to have waited here for that bus to move because I've got to go left for this chicane and I wouldn't have been able to get round him at all. But it's all good. It's all good, good, good. Nah, it's stopping here now, look. I don't think we can squeak there. We can't squeeze past. So we're, uh, we're here until he moves. So yeah, we're, um, we're heading back towards the yard. He just said, the boss just said, just head back. Let him know when I'm at memory services or passing memory services. So I'll give him a call then. So I, I would imagine we're probably loading out of South Sony again with more, um, with more roofing equipment where we loaded this morning for this job, but for him to deliver it tomorrow. So the truck is still out on the road earning money. Uh, as mentioned earlier, I'm off tomorrow, so. Yeah, just because I'm off doesn't mean the truck is. <laughs> um, but it doesn't mean to say that it will definitely be there. What was that noise? I heard something then, like something had been hit. I never hit anything. It sounded like plastic snapping or something. Um, yeah, it doesn't mean to say that I will be loading from, um, from Cerny. It could be like a Tetbury or even from the yard. We'll, um, we'll see when we get back. It's a good two hours back. We're not going to rush. So uh, if we go back to the yard, we'll be there at 20 past two, just before. And where we get loaded with the roofing equipment, that's literally opposite anyway. So yeah, we'll be there well before half past two, well before. So there's no point in rushing. They load until four o'clock. And we're not allowed in the yard until after half four anyway. So yeah, I'm going to let this pedestrian cross first. And then we're going to attempt to get out. Van's letting me out, but I need room on the other side. Thank you very much. It's nice when someone lets you out one side, you can just poke your nose out. The other side then either stop or don't <laughs> but there's more of a chance of them stopping because you're halfway out it's a little bit bullish but 
Got to get out. You got to get out. Okay, so you join me in South Cerny. That sun's just about to come out. Look. Um, where we are just about to rock up to the yard. We need to drop the trailer and go get a tyre looked at because I noticed uh, earlier there's like a, a crack in one of the tyres. So we're going to get it changed. There's no cord showing. There's no air coming out or anything like that. It's perfectly legal. Um, hence why I'm still driving. But um, we're going to go and get it looked at and possibly changed. I think it will get changed. But we need to drop our trailer. Um, obviously, we're not allowed in the yard before half past five because we're moving yards and they ain't got no room for us and we're not allowed in during operational times and blah, 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 blah. I mentioned it in another video. So we need to drop the trailer outside the yard in, in basically in an entrance. Uh, it's like a disused entrance. Um, I believe there's one trailer already there and it's literally just wide enough for two trailers and we've got to reverse off the road. It's, um, I'm not going to say it's going to be hard, but it's going to be uh, one of them things where if you're new, you're going to get flustered, that's for sure, because you're probably going to have traffic on the front and on the back behind you and in front of you. And I need to, to do a 90 degree um, reverse manoeuvre um, any second now. So I thought I'd film it, see if we can get it in one go. We can get, we've got vehicles behind us and they're going to be coming all the way down here. So we need to slow the vehicles down. Of what I might do actually is stop on the road with my hazards on, let a few vehicles overtake me while I potentially assess the situation i don't know hazards are going to be going on soon anyway that's for sure like i said i'm pretty sure there was a trailer there already we've got to park it next to the trailer we can't take the trailer with us to get the tire looked at it's not there's no room basically so we're dropping the trailer and i've got a funny feeling i'll be hitching back up to it later i've got a funny feeling right hazards are on Which side are we parking on? Okay, we're parking on the good side, that's good. Right. Uh, it's very tight. Whoever's dropped that trailer. Yeah, it's very tight. Someone's dropped the trailer, it's not quite all the way over. Let's give it another shot. We do have cars waiting behind us, so we're trying to do it quickly. One last time. We're definitely going on the curb to get this in, I think. Right, just need to take a look. Ugh. We ain't got much more room on the left. Yeah, we're on the curb, look. We can't really go back anymore. We're on the curb. But my worry is, if we go any more over, <laughs> we ain't really got a lot more room, is we? Um, whoever dropped this one could have gone over a lot more. Never mind. I'm just going to have one more go at trying to get it over a little bit more. <laughs> Hello, whoever you are. <laughs> just going to try and get it over just a tad, 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 tad bit more. Right, we're now missing the curb, that's good. Right, 
Right, I don't think we're gonna get any better than that. Let's have a look, let me show you. <laughs> right, so we're off the curb. We're off the curb, that is the priority. <laughs> and we've just stopped, look, literally, literally just shy of the, of the fence. We can't get much tire over there. Let's have a look on the other side. Yeah, so it's very snug. Spe specifically at the back end, I'm, I mean, I've got to walk sideways to get down here. There's no, there's no two ways about it. Ugh. I can't really go any further, but it's just enough to get the legs down and then uh, we come back. <laughs> I'm literally, literally squeezing down the side of two trailers. Um, so I get this dropped. And then we'll probably hitch back up to it and take it back out, I think, anyway. Oh, yeah, man, that's a squeeze down there. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Bye. Right, change of plan. Um, that is the end of the video. I'm just, uh, can you see me? I don't know if you can see me. Hello. I'm uh, just about to undo the kingpin. <sighs> There we go. So we are done for the day because there's no one in to um, to do the tire. There's no one there. So uh, drop the trailer and park up basically. Um, well, ask permission to park up. <laughs> they might not let us. But uh, just gonna just gonna park here a second. Yeah, so, <laughs> so it's just in. Um, whoever dropped the trailer, wow, I say whoever dropped the trailer. It was the big boss man who dropped the trailer. Ian, mate, <laughs> it's a good meter you got there. You could have gone to the left. <laughs> anyway, um, we need to ask permission now. We can park in the car park um, where my car is, basically. So. Let's just pop it in here a second. Good thing about not having a trailer. Well, even if you had a trailer, you can do this. But easier without a trailer. Just gonna reverse it in here, make a phone call, find out where I can put it and um, Go from there, really. Just plonk it here a second. Go find someone and see where they want it. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, here we go. We're in the yard. I to change the finish while it's daylight still. Bloody hell. Uh, yeah, tractor unit only. Definitely needs a wash, but we don't have access to wash here anymore, as far as I'm aware, anyway. Just added a new mod <laughs> to it. Intercooler. Now I'm a bit of more of a tang. Yeah, that is quite cool, isn't it? Intercooler. I've got LED lights to change because the bottom bar, they don't all work. I'd like to get maybe some burners put in here as well, potentially. That might also be blue, potentially. And also, there could be a Harry and Sons logo on the top, potentially. <laughs> so it's all, um, all dependent on whether they do it or not, really. But none of that will happen until we go into the new yard, once we're out of here. Um, like I said, as nice as this yard is, well, the nicest the people are here, the yard's just not very suitable. Not anymore. So we've outgrown it. Anyway, that is the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. A little bit of a tricky reverse maneuver over there, but we've got it done. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Don't forget to check out my merch. Big boys like big toys. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.